Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Are you someone who's been trying to get out of debt but haven't seen any progress? You're in luck because today we're gonna to be talking about how you can get out of debt using these three steps. Before we get into it, please don't forget to like and subscribe as well as share this video to anyone who's looking to get out of debt. If you're like me, then when we think about debt, you get sick to your stomach. I know, I know, I'm not talking about all debt. I'm only referring to the debt that doesn't allow you to live your life to the fullest. Today, this vicious cycle stops. What I see very often is when people have multiple balances that they're trying to pay off at once. They usually don't have a plan to pay off those balances or they get overwhelmed and discouraged when they try to pay multiple balances off at the same time and then they realize that the balances aren't actually going down. In this video, I'm gonna be walking you through three simple steps that I've used, as well as taught other people on how to get out of debt. Before we get started with the steps, there's a couple of terms you should know before we get started. The first one is snowball repayment. This is when you start off with paying off the smallest debt first, and then once that's paid off, you roll over the next payment, you start working on the second smallest balance. The next term is avalanche repayment. This is actually the opposite of snowball repayment. This is when you start out with your largest debt, you pay off that balance, and then you start working your way down to the second largest, third largest, fourth largest, and so on and so forth. The first step is to write down your goals. I would actually say that this is probably the most important step out of everything that I will talk about today. Writing down your goals is the most important thing that you can do because it puts the pen to paper and it allows you to actually figure out what you want to do. The hardest part about paying off debt is not having a plan, but if you don't understand what that plan is, it's very hard to execute on it. In order for you to understand how to execute on that plan, you have to have a goal. And that's what writing down the goal is about. Writing down the goal gives you the opportunity to really reflect and think about what do you want to accomplish? Is it paying off your credit card debt? Is it paying off your student loan debt? Is it paying off your car debt? Or maybe it's some ancillary thing that came up and you just have to go and you have to pay for it. By understanding what your goals are and having a written reminder, whether it's on your wall, whether it's a post-it note that's on your, on your desk or something like that, having that constant reminder of that goal will allow you to set up that foundation that you need to actually start repaying down your debt. The second step is updating or creating your new budget sheet. There are tons of budget sheets that you can find online. All you have to do is go to Google, type in budget sheet, and you'll find tons of templates that you can use to fill in for your own personal budget. It's pretty simple and pretty easy to use. For the purpose of this video, I'm gonna walk through my budget sheet and talk about some of the things that I like to have on it to ensure that I'm capturing all the right information. So the first part is income. Everyone knows what income is. You wanna just make sure that you're capturing all your income in a monthly basis. If you have multiple incomes, you wanna put it in. If it's only one, that's totally fine. What I like about this spreadsheet is that you just put in your, you just put in your number and it will um, automatically do the addition for you. The second part is tracking down your monthly expenses. This is the meat and potatoes of the budget sheet. You wanna make sure that you get this right. Um, one of the things that I like to do is that I break it down into different categories. The first category is living expenses. These are all the things that I need to pay um, on a monthly basis that are no, non-negotiable. These are things that um, has to go out and I have to find a way to pay for it. So that includes rent, any sort of renter's insurance, uh, my car payment, gas for the car, um, utilities, things like that. Those are things that I like to put in the first, first category as something that I must pay. Then the second category that I have is miscellaneous expenses. This is where I put all my subscription fees. This is where I put my gym membership. These are some of the things that I have um, autonomy as to if I want to pay it or not. So if I don't want to continue going to the gym, I can cancel that. So those are the things that I put in the miscellaneous expenses. Those are things that come up. Uh, they, they vary month to month things like that, that I'm able to kind of pick and choose what I want to pay. And then the last part is my credit cards. This is where I put all my credit card debt. This is where uh, I put the interest, I make sure the interest there, what the regular payment and what the balance is. I really like using it this way because then it allows me to understand how much money is coming in and coming out. And then um, as you can see here on the right, the last part is actually seeing what's left over at the end of the month. So what it does, it takes the, the total balance of what your income is, as well as subtracting it from your uh, expenses, and then it spits out what your total um, leftover money is at the end of the month. 
It's super helpful. This is something that I created for myself. I'm assuming that you probably can find something somewhere online. If not, um, I, I like I said, I think it's pretty cool. So if you want a copy of it, just send a comment below and then I can email it to you. Now that you took the time to update your budget sheet and understand how much money you have left over after you pay your bills, it's time to finalize your budget repayment strategy. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to use NerdWallet's uh, debt payoff tracker. I really like NerdWallet's debt tracker because it's very intuitive and it's really easy to use. Um, so as you guys can see here, what I'm doing is that I'm putting in the credit card debt that I have. So as you can see here, I have four credit cards that I'm putting in. Once that's been completed, it's going to spit out a, um, a date as to when all the credit cards are going to be completed. So this is using just a traditional method. It's not going to be the avalanche method, nor is it going to be the snowball method. What's really good about this is that once you understand how much it's going to cost without using any of those methods, it gives you the option to choose if you want your debt repayment to be either avalanche or snowball. For this example, I'm going to choose snowball. So I'm going to put in snowball and I'm going to take the number um, that was left over from my budget sheet that I showed you before and it's going to spit out how much money that I have to pay in order to get out of debt sooner. This is something that's really, really awesome. Um, it makes my life very, very easy. And as well as when I'm working with the clients, it makes it, it makes it very easy for them to see how putting additional cash to their debt allows them to get out of debt sooner. There you have it. It's super simple. All you have to do is put in your information and let the computer do its thing. By following these three simple steps that I walk you through, you now have the opportunity to take control of your debt and make this year your best year yet. If you would like to show support, please don't forget to hit the like button, as well as share this video to friends and family who are trying to make this year the year that they get out of debt. Lastly, if there's a strategy that you use that has helped you get out of debt, feel free to comment below and let me know. This is a community for all of us, so any other tips and tricks below would help not only me, but the other folks that have watched this video. Also, I have an Instagram now. Um, I will be posting daily. Sometimes there'll be questions. Sometimes there'll be inspirational quotes. Sometimes there'll be tips and tricks. Um, so if you haven't followed me yet, please follow me. You can see right there down below at Uncle Roy P. Um, and I'll see you over there. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.